everyone, so today I'm giving contouring the 101 treatment because although there are loads of tutorials out there already, I thought I'd throw my two cents into the mix. Let's call this contouring every day for girls who don't like to wear too much makeup. This is like the really simple, hard back version for girls like me who just like to keep things quite simple in the makeup arena but maybe also like me have a football head and you do need a bit of sculpting and definition just to kind of give a little bit of something something there. So today I have five steps to follow for super easy, very quick, fuss free contouring. Step one is to pick your product. Now you've got a few avenues, you can go down here, you can go down the cream or powder root and both have their pros and cons. Cream is very easy to apply and very easy to blend but it's not as long lasting as powder can be. So powder is a bit longer lasting but it's kind of easier to go a bit over the top with it and once you kind of go over the top with it it's quite difficult to bring back. Personally I use powder just because I find it the quickest and easiest thing and my face likes to eat makeup all day every day so it just makes the most sense for me to use that. So I've got a few suggestions for you here and if you want to go down the cream route I do like this one. It's from Kevin Aquan and it is there the Creamy Glow Duo in Sculpting Medium and Candlelight. So you, you must have heard of the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. This is it in cream form, you just got a tiny little bit of contour there and highlight there, so it's kind of a two in one, great for traveling, really compact and small, you just don't get a lot of product here and it's not exactly the cheapest of products. But then again, you don't need a lot, so swings and roundabouts. Then for powder, I have quite a few recommendations, because personally it's my favorite. I've got a few suggestions for beginners or those with a lighter skin tone. These are more bronzers and they're more kind of peachy in tone, so they're easier to wear. It can kind of be swept all over the cheek as a blush slash contour slash everything. This one is from Burberry and this is their Light Glow Earthly Blush in number seven. Extremely kind of light. It's a very nice tawny shade. Works amazingly as an eyeshadow as well but can also work for a contour for people who are just starting with the contouring thing but also lighter skin tones. Now although this next one, the Soap and Glory Solar Powder, is technically a bronzer, this shade is definitely more bronzery. This shade here could be more contoury if you just used it with a light hand and I kind of like how you can amp it up if you want depending on your complexion. So although it's primarily a bronzer and it does have a bit of warmth to it, it can also work as a contour as well. You just need to use a light hand and this shade here would be a great contour again for beginners or people with a paler skin tone. Then onto two of my favourites and I've got a budget pick for you here and then a not so budget pick. The first one is from Sleek and it's their face contour kit in the shade Light and once again you very handily have a highlight there already for you and then this shade here. It can come off quite dark so you do have to be quite careful with it and just go in with a really light hand and sort of dust it in and then knock it off. You know you do that thing with the brush, like knock off most of it, work off quite a bit on the back of your hand before going in with it but I do really like the tone of it. And then my all time favourite is the Kevin Aquan the Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium. They have updated the packaging of this so it no longer comes with where the old brush used to go. This is a fab contour powder. If you've got my kind of skin tone, maybe a little bit darker or any lighter, this is going to be a great shade for you. It's got it's what? <laughs> it's got that kind of grey undertone to it which just creates that natural shadow, it just actually looks like that's where there's a shadow in your face, which is exactly what you want out of contouring. And I've hit pan on it, which is just kind of unheard of for me, so that shows you how much I like it. And then in terms of applying them, again I've got a budget pick and a not so budget pick. The budget pick is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. It's great, it does what it says on the tin, it's quite small and really that's what you want. You want something that's quite small and can really hug under the cheekbones, otherwise you're kind of just applying it in a big stripe, and that's just like putting bronzer on. But my favourite is the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt Brush. I've been using this for contour probably for about a year now. It's kept its shape really well, it's nice and soft on the skin, and again, it's just the perfect size just to dig in under those cheekbones. Well what I have of a cheekbone. <laughs> Step two is to know where to apply it. Now we all know that contour is supposed to create shadow on the face and sort of bring back features to create the illusion of sculpture and definition, which I most certainly need. But where to put it is if you kind of roll your fingers down your face, you will find this kind of natural bit that you can kind of push in a little bit more and that's just underneath your cheekbone. I'm sure this is a really attractive pose right now. You just want to roll your finger, kind of down your face and then press out that cheekbone and that is exactly where you're trying to put the contour and actually if you're applying a cream product a good idea is to put it on the side of your thumbs just there and then you can actually just press it in exactly where it needs to go and then blend it out with your finger. Step 
three is what I like to call the outside rule, and this really goes for all cheek products. Imagine there is a line drawn down from your iris directly down your face. You don't want to put any colour, so that's any highlight or blush or contour, inside. You don't want to go into this way, you want to be always applying colour on this side of the line and this side of the line. So when it comes to your contour, try not to bring it down any further than if you were to draw that imaginary line. So really, you're just going to be focusing the contour to this line here. So it's almost like here, find your cheekbone, there you go, that's where you want to apply it. Step four is to powder. Now this one only really applies if you're going to be using a powder product like the Kevin Aquan. I like to pop on just a bit of powder where that contour is going to go. So just here, and just there and that means that the powder that you're going to put on top of it isn't going to drag like the color isn't going to get all caught up in the creaminess of your base that you've got on below it just means it's going to go on really nice and softly so seeing as i kept things kind of neutral in the makeup department today well except for my lip liner which is a mac lip liner in the shade b i am absolutely obsessed i completely love it but i did keep the cheeks bare so I could show you how I actually apply my contour and I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder and then the Charlotte Tilbury Powder and Sculpt Brush, give it a little swirl. I do tend to take off a bit on the back of my hand just so it's not as powdery and then I just go in, sometimes make a duck face if I want to and I'm just applying it underneath what I have of cheekbones. I do also like to pop a little bit under the jawline and also round the tops of the forehead. I can never be bothered with the nose, but cheekbone, jawline, forehead, done. Now I'm gonna go a bit overboard here just so I can show you step five. So as you could see there, about five strokes is perfect. About 55 strokes, which is what I've done to create this, is not. So if you go overboard, may I propose step five which involves the foundation brush trick so if ever you go overboard in fact even if you don't go overboard i tend to do this most days anyway i just apply it and then i just go over the top with my foundation brush bringing the color down never up and this just helps to blend it in and if you've made any errors in over application this will remove it but even if you haven't it just helps make things look very seamless and professionally applied and in the mornings that step takes all of about 30 seconds it's contouring done the complete easy way so i hope this helped out some of you who've maybe been a bit confused or maybe you're just wondering how i contoured there you go there you have it five steps Easy peasy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.